Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. All right. Um, e. Jean Carroll, the case got delayed again. It's Tuesday night as I record this going up Wednesday morning. The E. Jean Carroll case got delayed again. Um, they, they didn't say why this time. Uh, but the, uh, the court case is to resume on Thursday and go into Friday. That's what the current docket says. Uh, there's no reporting on the juror who is sick and no reporting on Alina Haba that I've heard so far. All right, took a quick break there just to look up if Alina Haba, is there any news on her? Uh, other than she said that her parents had COVID and she was, ex she was with her parents and her babysitter apparently also is showing COVID-like symptoms. <laughs> And you're sitting next to Donald Trump unmasked. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it any way I can get it, I suppose. Um, all right. So now the E. Jean Carroll case, again, it, it, it got delayed. Now, so the first question is, is, uh, is the E. Jean Carroll case going to be delayed a week or two weeks because of health concerns involving COVID? Let's take a look. Will the E. Jean Carroll case be delayed for health concerns, maybe like COVID, either with the juror or with um, Trump's uh, defense team? Knight of Swords. Okay, uh, for the uninitiated, way back when, before I even started YouTube, I was just doing Facebook posts. This was my card for COVID. Um, this was my card for COVID. They're coming in and infecting people quickly. Crossed with the Four of Swords. People needing to take time to take a break and relax. And the Magician. <laughs> Manifesting it. It's like Trump wanted these delays. He's going to get a delay. It may not be a real delay. It could be an illusion too. But I think the court is going to be taking a break. Because I think... Either the juror or Lena Haba got COVID and they may have to take a recess for this one. In the past, we've got the world card. Um, this case was just about to be closed. Signed, sealed, delivered. It's actually already decided, right? He's guilty. It was just a matter of coming up with the money uh, to do this. And Trump's team has been trying to get the case delayed at least until this week, uh, past the uh, the primary, they would probably would have wanted to start a Wednesday. Um, but yeah, I think it was supposed to. It basically, it was going to be wrapped up by now, and it's not wrapped up. Current situation is strength. Um, you know, it's having to make decisions that you may not like. Um, and whether we like it or not, it would not be fair to Donald Trump to um, be on trial without one of his lead attorneys. Now, we can debate the, uh, the effectiveness of his lead attorney, but that would be one reason. If the juror is not feeling well, you could put alternative jurors in there, <clears throat> but... It's almost like they, they, they want to wait. There might be a delay for this week just to see if anybody else is getting sick. It could be, that could be this as well. Or fakes getting sick. There's going to be an agreement. Both sides, uh, I think both sides will have to agree to this. I really do think there's probably going to be a two week break here. Let's see. The lesson to be learned is the five of pentacles, you know, not taking care of one's health, being left out in the cold. I think there's going to be a break. The, the, the financial decision and financial punishment is not going to happen to Donald Trump for a while. Um, it would be wild, absolutely wild if E. Jean Carroll's Attorney asked for a gag order on Donald Trump to have him stop defaming her client during this break. But again, 
the the longer the the jury has to sit, the more Trump defames her, the more money she's going to collect. Outcome is the six of uh, cups, nostalgia, naivety. Um. <sighs> It's just, it's, it's a kindness. We might argue he doesn't deserve any, but it's a kindness to the jury. It's a kindness to her. It's a kindness from the court to them. I think this case is going to get delayed. I'd be happy if it's not. I don't want it to be over with, but it, it looks like it's going to be delayed. You know, if the Knight of Swords wasn't a COVID card, that was the race to get the case done challenged by the race to put this case to sleep. Um, the chuckle you might have heard was just picture Alina Hobbin with a, a red uh, fine tip Sharpie pen drawing two lines on a COVID test case and sending that picture and saying, oh no, I've got COVID. I can't come in. I'm going to be testing positive for the next 10 days or so. Sorry, can't come in. All right. Um, it looks like, uh, it looks like COVID's going to delay this here. Um, does, does the court case get delayed because of, of COVID? Yes or no? Just a simple yes or no. Four quarter. Temperance. Yeah, you got it. You got to slow it down and allow people to recover. Yep. Yeah, people are going to get sick. It was opening day for court. Things happen fast. <sighs> there it is again. <laughs> yep, it's going to get delayed. They'll 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 do the messaging on it that like the juror has COVID or Alina Haba has COVID. We're going to get we're going to get messaging that these folks have COVID and the case is delayed. It's going to be delayed for a while because the you need everybody there. Now. We could, you could make the argument that, it, I don't know, he's got other legal representation, but you know that if they ask Trump if he wants to delay or just to go ahead with his, with uh, Boris Epstein, you know, he's going to, he's going to ask for the delay. And that's what it's going to be. I think it's going to be delayed. Uh, which, <laughs> now... Uh, <laughs> The other the other question I had is um, I was listening to I think it was MSNBC I was listening to something on uh, on my phone while driving around. They're basically there's no way Donald Trump's going to testify. He bluffs. He bluffs. He bluffs. He bluffs. And the reason why they don't think he's going to testify is he would have to be under oath, and he doesn't want to be under oath because he can do commit perjury or you know, he's already been found guilty. What's he going to, uh, what's it going to solve? Now, when I've thrown cards, I've certainly seen that he wants to testify. But there's a couple, <coughs> there's a couple things that come to mind. <coughs> In all these court cases that he's had, not the ones like in front of the Supreme Court, but all these court cases, he keeps saying he's going to testify and he never does, right? Typical thing, Trump bluffing. Um, including the first E. Jean Carroll, where he was going to fly back from the, the Queen's, uh, uh, the coronation of the king he didn't, that he didn't get invited to and he had a little poo-poo pants moment and said he was going to go home and defend himself and then the judge was like, oh, well, I'll delay then so you can come in and uh, file the paperwork to say you're going to testify, which he never did. Um, Trump, he can go out there and post up on Truth Social and stuff like that and just say all the nasty things about E. Jean Carroll that he can't talk about in court. So if he testifies, what's he going to testify on? Because he's already told he's lost the case. He can't deny that he doesn't know her. He can't deny that he didn't sexually assault her. He can't deny all these things. What's the point of him testifying? So that's one thing. The second thing is um, that... Now I've lost my train. I thought I should have brought it up when I had the, the moment here. Give me a senior moment here. Pause. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> but basically, he doesn't tell the truth. He doesn't want to testify. He never testifies under oath if he can avoid it because he can do it on social media. 
And then, you know, he can make up all the lies he wants to, but once he's under oath, he's in trouble. Um, and, yeah. You know, and he keeps, he keeps asking for delays, and he keeps coming up with excuses why he can't show up. Him saying he wants to testify is almost like another delaying tactic. Oh, I'd love to testify, but I'm running for, you know, I'm running for president, you know. I have to be in New Hampshire. No, you don't. The voting's starting. Your butt in New Hampshire does no good at that point. Anyway, um, Trump says he wants to testify. Is he going to actually testify? Oh, that's what it was. That's what it was. In the, um, the New York civil trial, he didn't want to testify. He wanted to give closing arguments because now you're not under oath in closing arguments. See what I mean? He, he's not under oath. And then when the judge tried to basically say, will you stay in these parameters? He just started talking over the judge. So he doesn't want to be controlled. He doesn't want to be limited. He doesn't want to be under oath. So this other judge <laughs> ain't going to play. What's the energy? We'll Trump testify with this judge Kaplan, who's going to force him to be under oath. Uh, deck's upside down. Uh, no, he's going to go silent. He's just going to be in the background tweeting and stuff like that. No, he's not going to testify. He's going to stay in the background. He'll make up excuses why he can't testify. That's what we got going on here. We got the lover's card. <laughs> yeah. Raping her. Page of cups. He's unhinged. It's going to... it. It's not going to help his case. It's going to help her case. Because he's just going to be ranting and raving and Looney Tunes. He still wants to, though. He absolutely wants to. But no decent lawyer would ever let that man up on the stage. He's willing to spin the wheel. He wants to spin the wheel on this one. But he probably has talked out of it. And he'll likely go on a true social rant or something. He, <laughs> okay, um, I, I don't think he's going to testify. He's going to go dark. He'll come up with excuses why he can't do it. And so the, the, the trial, that's what the Wheel of Fortune is. The trial has to continue on without his, his scintillating testimony. And um, then the lover's card is, you know, what's going to happen with E. Jean Carroll uh, the page of cups is just all the lunacy of all the stuff that he says has been saying during the trial. And then that 10 of cups with the rainbow is going to be uh, good, good times for E. Jean Carroll without him testifying. Okay. Um, it doesn't look like he's going to testify. Um, What can you tell me about the settlement? The 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 uh, the award. Will the jury award E. Jean Carroll a, 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 an award of fifty million dollars or more? About something like that. <laughs> That's a, I wanted to ask if he's going to defame her again. The emperor. Uh, they're going to send a message. They are absolutely going to send a message to him. Mm, I was going to do a four carter, but let's do let's do a six carter. Uh, yeah, because he just doesn't get it. It's, you know, how, how do you send a narcissist a message when he just won't stop? He's relentless. You've got to send a message. Underneath it, it's going to be kind of a novel approach for them. Uh, this is the messenger. This is taking action on on something like this. But it's going to be it's going to be a stiff fine because he just doesn't stop. Tower moment. His tweets and his uh, social media posts, his uh, previous actions. I mean, the, the court, the, it already guilty, but he, uh, Donald Trump is his own worst enemy in this one. I don't think Vicki Haley's here. I think this is going to be E. Jean Carroll. E. Jean Carroll is going to come out of this fabulously wealthy. <laughs> Not that she's going to keep the money for herself. I'm sure she's going to do stuff with it, but she is going to get rewarded Big time for this. There's your Wheel of Fortune. The case goes on without him. And now it's like, you know, <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. And I don't think she's going to get... 
the bankrupt card. I think Trump's going to get the bankrupt card here. Um, yeah, she's going to do really well off it. And it's supposed to happen. <sighs> the lesson to be learned is you better start looking at how you do things and consider it before you actually do it. Because if you do it, this is for Trump, mind you, you open your mouth again, you're going to be hit for defamation. It's going to be even bigger penalties next time. You know, it's got to be big enough to hurt and make him give pause before he opens his trap. The outcome is the sun card. Yeah, um, this is going, it's going to be a big amount. Yeah, it, I think it will be $50 million or more. It's it's going to be a big amount. Wheel of Fortune, Power, the Emperor, this. Yeah, they're going to, they're going to hit him. They are going to hit him hard. I would expect it's going to be at least 25 and probably 50. And the reason why I say that is uh, uh, E. Jean Carroll's um, uh, uh, expert that she brought on on save, salvaging your reputation testified it would be about $12 million. And Trump has just continually defamed her through this whole trial. No shame, no signs of stopping. Punitive damages would probably match at least the um, the reputation. It's like, you know, you could spend the $12 million to repair it, and then you have to spend another $12 million to repair what was damaged while you were repairing it the first time. <clears throat> and they might go three times as much. You might see something akin to like, you know, $48 million or like 36 Maybe they make it uh, 24 plus the 12, if they give her the 12. But I think it could be darn close. It'll be over 25 or minimum 25 and likely 50. Um, will, <laughs> when the settlement announce is announced, will Donald Trump defame her again? Or I should say, will he... Let's see. Will he regret not having testified? Because I think he's going to defame her again. But will he regret not having testified? Will he defame her again? And will he blame his lawyers in the fact that he didn't testify? Because he could, he and he alone could have saved the day. Oh, it's going to, oh, it's going to crush him. This woman already lives rent free in his head. And now she's collecting, she's going to collect tens of millions of dollars against him. This is just a nightmare scenario. <clears throat> Crossed by the magician. <clears throat> and the queen of swords. I think this is a combination. This is the combination of him just creating his own reality. And he better be careful because if he creates his own reality, he's while well, he may live in his own reality. His little reality is in our, our overall macro reality, and there's punishments to be made for this. I think um, I think the message is getting through that you need to be quiet. Maybe he gets agents to post up for him. Um, and he might feel that if I was there, I, I could have fixed this. I'll see how this this challenge card goes. But the message is sent. They give a big enough thing to actually send a message to him. Okay, there we go. In the past, we've got the uh, the Nine of Cups. That Oh, because of the delay. There's, there's that generosity for the delay. We had the delay. The delay is over. And now the, um, the, uh, the court case has been sorted out. King of Wands. Um, this is usually the judges on, uh, on this part, I think. The judge has driven this thing forward it, to its conclusion. He's been more than fair and accommodating. And um, the judgment is given by the judge. The jury decides it, but the judge... Um, I think the judge can make amendments to it. I'm not sure. I could be making that up, but we've got, we've got the judge here. He's not changing anything. <sighs> Overarching energy is the empress. She, she's going to do very well. Uh, e. Jean Carroll's going to do very well. 
She, the jury will have taken care of her very well. Again, I don't think she needs hundreds of, no, tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars. She just wants it to stop. And the message is you will stop or else. Queen of Cups. Trump's got to put a lid on it. <laughs> Plain and simple. Put a lid on it, pal. You got two queens here. Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords. You know, Trump's got to put a lid on it. And this could also be E.G. and Carol just wanting this to stop. You know, the emotional outbursts just stop. Outcome is the Four of Cups. Um... I think Trump's pouting on this one. He is pouting. He didn't get his way. He's upset. And he can't say anything. Because if he says something, he's going to get hit with an even bigger fine. It's almost like I think the judge warns him that uh, it's like, you know, he, he warns Trump or Trump's attorneys that, you know, this settlement, this, this punitive damages is... They're the jury's message to you that this needs to stop. And if you continue to do this, she will defend, she will file a defamation case against you again. She will win and it'll be an even bigger settlement the next time. And, you know, Trump is already hemorrhaging cash with legal fees and the New York civil case coming up. Uh, it, it, it's like, it's almost like they take his phone away. <laughs> You just need to, uh, you need to go. If, if he were going to have his, his health event, uh, well, that's what, um, I believe that's what, uh, uh, Susan Lynn was saying, I think it was, right? That, uh, when he loses the civil, when he gets the civil judgment and, uh, the Eugene Carroll judgment, right after that, his brain goes, so, you know, we might be getting that uh, New York civil case judgment pretty soon here, too. Well, like a week or two, huh? I think at the end of January, beginning of February. So, you know, we got some we got some good times coming up here. Trump's going to be paying some monies. All right. Uh, I'll call it off. <laughs> so I've, I've, I've already done long videos today. Um, yeah, we're going to end it. <laughs> it's like, do I really want to throw one? I'll do another one for... Uh, the civil trial. Anyways, thank you for watching this video and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you for your kind words and your likes and your shares and everything that you do to help support my channel um, and help it grow over 5,000 viewers. I'm, I'm flattered and honored and humbled. Thank you all for that. Um, thank you for everything you do to help this video make it out to a wider audience. Folks discovering this channel for the first time or recently, welcome to the channel. I hope you found this reading insightful and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.